So we're out on the water today, and this is my first time to experience something brand new from Humminbird. It's called Target Lock, and it's for Mega Live. So to this point, you know, we've always had that live transducer connected to the trolling motor shaft. So if you're out there in the wind and you're trying to stay focused on a brush pile or an individual fish, and, and you gotta control the boat, you know, you gotta turn back and forth, the wind's pushing you around. You've never been able to, to you know, do anything but point the transducer where the trolling motors at target lock does that and a whole lot more so it's just really cool so it comes with this uh, foot pedal you can you know hit the, the right button and turn it to the right turn it to the left this is the one boat network button which is totally customizable you can program it to Minn Kota steer you can program it to sweep whatever feature you want you can control with the one boat network and then this is target lock so once you find a target that you want it to keep on you just hit that button and it's going to lock onto that particular target and you can I mean if you say you you mark a brush pile and you can drive a, the boat a 360 circle all the way around it and it'll continually keep that transducer locked on that uh, specific target that's what's so cool about this having uh, you know having that independently move from the trolling motor you know we've always been just forced to have it on the trolling motor and in the wind and the waves that's when live is really a struggle to fish with not anymore you know, one of the features that changed the way we all fish is spot lock. You know, the Minn Kota Ultrex was the first to have spot lock, but when you have a live transducer on that trolling motor, when it's spot locking and, and correcting, moving left and right, your transducer is, is getting off target. Now with target lock, you can have your trolling motor spot locked and it's still gonna do hold you in, in that place and it's gonna move back and forth, but the transducer, the target lock stays focused on that brush pile or, you know, that piling or, or that particular particular fish that you were looking at at the time. That's what's awesome is that it's independent. It allows you again to have total boat control and ne never lose any of your visibility of your Mega Live. But if I want to have it right where the trolling motor's pointed again, if I want to turn my trolling motor and point it, I can do that too. All I got to do is hit one button and it just stays focused again right on wherever the trolling motor's point pointing. So it gives me the option of however I want to use it, whatever I want to, whatever my need is at the time to have the best boat control and never lose sight of my Mega Live and always know that I'm pointing at the direction that I want to see. You know, so there's a lot of times that, that I'm just covering water. I'm fishing down the bank. And one of the features I really like for that is the sweep feature. So it's just constantly scanning back and forth, left and right with the live. And you know, a lot of times if you're looking for fish out in open water, schooling fish, things like that, it's always working for me. One of the other cool options, if you like to fish out of the back of the boat, you know, you're out there in rough water, is you can get the target lock accessory remote and run it from anywhere in the boat. So same features, just from a remote. Oh, well, there he is. I knew they'd be there someplace. Right there, go right at that guy. I'm out here with Carl Jacobson and we are trying out Mega Live Target Lock for the very first time and it is impressive already. You can see, I got some right there in front of it, right where yeah. we're pointing, right where I just caught this one. See him? You can see him right there. I just spot locked the trolling motor and it's pointing back at us. So before my transducer would be right pointing at, point at the engine, at the outboard. And you don't want that. You want to look at it. I can just see them right there. These ones way up. Yeah, no one to There's some close and there's some way up. Yeah, they'll, they scatter on these ledges. Especially you catch a few like that. Like... Some to right in front of the boat to... Hang on here, because that current's pushing us that way. I gotta get, I gotta get repositioned. One of the things that, you know, that I like to do is just constantly change, you know, I like to change angles on a lot of these places, but I wanna be out off of the ledge 
And uh, you know, if you can get that bait a lot of times where it's coming off the bottom, right at the edge of the ledge, it's a it's a good way to trigger them to come up there and bite it. So we kind of got, I got a little, you know, the current's going this way and you know, the wind's in our face, it's kind of backwards, but so we just had kind of had to move back out and we'll re reposition, re re-spot lock here and see if we can get them fired back up. They're just right off the trolling motor there. That's, they're right there. He ate it good too. Not a big one, but. So how do we get, yeah, we, uh, it's on independent right now. Yeah, I got it. I got it pointed. I got the Mega Live. So we can use this right now to steer it, eh? Yep, you can steer it right or left. And then once you get it on it, just hit the target lock button and you're locked in. You see him? Yeah. Yep, yep. Let's target lock it right there and to keep him right there. So this is exactly Oop. what like, this is built for. We, Kevin's been, got on the back of a little ledge here. We've got wind and current blowing us different ways. We're spot locking, which helps us be able to stay on these fish. It's been the biggest changer for bass fishing. But oh. live would generally... I just had one like, just... <laughs> live would generally be following that Ultrex as it's trying to keep us here with spot lock. We're now live is locked onto these fish. We can see them here on 360 and everything's working independent. And this is the exact scenario that we've been wanting to use and utilize this uh, new technology. Yeah, just, just to get the boat control back 100%, you know, where you're never, you know, you're never off target now. Yeah. Wherever we want to be at. Oh, this is a, a good school. Yeah. But yeah, look at the Ultrex working right now. It's the, it's it's constantly, you know, correcting, us, yeah. correcting. And normally, uh, live would be waving with that, and you would have to just, you know, be showing. So live right now would be showing us off the ledge. Then this independent arm pointed right where we want it, right on the fish. So everything's working really perfectly. Might be a good one. You would show off. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah, nice one. Literally, this is our very first day out here. Very um, first few minutes. Yeah, minutes. Literally, um, Kevin said, "Let's go to this ledge. We check it first spot." What's cool about it? We went up to his first spot and there was absolutely nothing there. Zero fish, you, we don't yeah, get a bite. You, you see there wasn't nothing there. Nothing there. We make a little small adjustment and next minute live shows them, 360 shows them independently and then we just start catching them. Kevin catches two and two casts. That's my third cast. That's what this technology does and they're still down there. So we got to get more. You got to get back out there. Casting.